Hi, my name is Marianne, I'm a local artist here in Coventry. Welcome to my VE Day bunting tutorial. Okay, to make the basic template for your bunting, you will need paper, a pencil, scissors and a ruler. Let's begin. So what you'll need to do to make your template is to measure out 12 and a half centimetres line at the top, then a one and a half centimetre line on either side of that line, and then from that line on a diagonal go down 17 centimetres and then down the other side 17 centimetres to make a triangle shape. Once you've done this, cut it out. And you'll be left with your basic bunting template. The first bunting idea I'm going to show you is using plastic bags. What you'll need is a pen, some scissors, your bunting template and some plastic bags. This is what you need to do. Get your plastic bag and cut down the side of the handles and then open it up so it goes like a circle and then we cut it in half. And this is your string for your bunting, okay? Next, you need to do your bunting triangles. So we get you your template and put it on the plastic bag we're going to draw around your template plastic bag and then cut it out. Doesn't matter if it's not precise. And there you have your start of your bunting. So what to do next is you get a pen or pencil and you're going to poke a hole at the top, so I'll show you. So you're going to take a hole quite near the top, but not too near the top, like so. And then you can go the other side and poke it through to make sure you've got a nice hole, like that. And then you're going to get your string and you're going to thread it through the back of your bunting triangle and use your pencil to poke the back it through and pull it all the way along. Leave a bit of excess at the other end and then you're going to thread it through the front through the next hole and pull it along and there is the start of your waterproof plastic bunting. Okay, once you've cut out your shapes and you've threaded them through onto your bunting string, this is what your waterproof plastic bunting should look like. For the next printing idea, I'm going to use paper. My favourite kind of paper is newspaper, but you can also use scrap paper, wrapping paper, or even old books. So what I've done is I've pre-made most of mine, and I've done make, do, and, and mend is the last bit I'm going to show you. It's the wrong way around. So on here, I have used scrap bits of paper to make my letters and added bits on, and then from old wrapping paper, I found different shapes, so you can use the shape from magazines. So I'll put some trousers on the top and some more trousers because it's to do with mending. And um, what I'm going to do now is show you the end product of what the bunting would look like. So it's quite big. So what you do is I've got my M for mend. I'm going to use my glue stick. And I'm going to glue the, 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 the tab, the flap at the top and the other side. And I'm going to place it under my wool, which I've chosen to use because I don't have string. And I'm going to fold it over like that and press it down. Make sure there's not too much of a gap between each words. And there we go, there's one, mend. Do the E, to glue it. I'm going to turn it upside down, place it on. And then I'm going to fold it over. Okay, so you just fold it over and stick it on. Like I say, don't leave too much of a gap in between each letter. And there we go. So no, uh, no, no. You don't have to do words. You can do pictures, you can do quotes, you can keep it plain, you can just do patterns. You can do whatever you like. It's personal to you. My last one, I'm going to tuck it over and then 
press it down and then that is the end of my bunting. So this is what it could look like if my arms are long enough. There we go, make, do and mend. Just to show you some of the bunting that I've made before, this is a bunting I made for my son's birthday and these two are buntings that I've made for VE Day using books and paper scraps. Thank you for watching my tutorial. I hope you enjoy making your bunting and stay safe.